Hello, uh, my name is Bezad. Today in this video, we are going to show you how to install this closet. In this project, we have four uprights. We lay them on the floor. Do not try to put them against the wall and put the hardware. It may tilt, uh, tip over on you. So do not do that, please. Put them on the floor, put a blanket. That's the best way. Now we're going to go back to our side panels and we're going to put the hardware. We are going to put screws type A. We call them screws type A, as you can see. This goes into the small holes in here. And these are the screws that we put on and they will attach to the white cups on the thick shelves. So we put two screws at the very top. Depending on the type of the panel, like whether it's a double hanger, in this case, this panel is the double hanger for the double hanger section, so we put the screws in the middle. Of course, you can change that. That is, there's no fast rule for that. You know, depends on what kind of a height you want. Once we put this uh, screws on, the panel, this panel is finished. Now we will pick it up and we stand it up against the wall. Put a slight angle to make it stable. And we continue the same thing with the rest of the panels and uh, we put them that is the panel that's these are all the panels in the middle are like one panel that's between unit number 20 and 21 and so forth we do all the panels and we stand them up again as you can see we have kind of put it leaning against the wall like about four or five inches at the bottom we have we are bringing the sides out so make sure that you know that way keeps it makes it more stable Now, we are going to get our ladder positioned in the right place. Remember, when you first put the very first unit, which in this case is unit number 20, you do not want to let go of the unit till at least you put, you put one screw from the nailer into the wall. Again, do not let the unit, you know, freestanding. They are not designed for that. And they, it will suddenly collapse on you. you pick up the fixture of nailer. You hook up the left side, and then you panel that goes on the right hand side, you tilt it as you can see, and then now you tighten up the screws, half a turn, clockwise, half a turn, and that locks the screws in place. Now we are gonna put the second fixture, which is in the middle. This is the double hanger unit. It has one fixture nailer on the top, one in the middle. And again, we tighten up the screws. And uh, now, still, you don't, do not want to let this unit loose. You have to hold it with one hand. And we are going to use the nailer on the top, find this, find this start, and put one screw from the nailer into the by four so we find the stud now we are going to pre-drill a hole drill a hole with a power tool now you can see the hole is pre you know countersink and we're going to put a two inch screw and attach it to the wall once we have this one section screwed to the wall then the unit is becomes stable now you can much let it go it would not go anywhere it's a stable now we're going to do the same thing with the rest of the units number 21 and 22 again you see how it's sliding the panel underneath now this unit is the shelving unit we have one fixture of nailer on the top he's now putting the second fixture of nailer the shelving units they get three fixture of nailer depending on the height of course so once he's done with that, he's going to put the bottom fixture, which doesn't have a nailer. So he's tightening up that, and now he's going to reach for that regular fixture, which does not have the nailer. So that goes, and again, the location of this fixture, they're all really optional, but you kind of have to use, generally kind of try to distribute it, you know, 
Don't put all of them in one spot, you know. We want to make sure that the unit is supported, top to bottom. Now we're going to do it for the last unit. Again, we clip it under, on the left side, and slide the panel on the right, under the fix shelf. And tighten up the screws again. This is a long hanger unit, so there would be another fixture with a nailer. Generally, any time that we have a rod, right above the rod, we will put a fixture. And, and that's general rule. You know, you want to put the, above the rod one fixture. Now we go back to the units and try to secure the units, putting the screws with the, to the studs you know, so that, you know, uh, from the nails to the studs, and that nicely... So, we put another screw, and then later on we are going to put cover caps to cover up the screws, so you don't see it. Now we are going to plumb the sides, you know, put the level against it, and you slightly have to maybe move the bottom of it a little bit left to, left or right. And, uh, and once we do that, then we are going to use the bottom nailers, fixture of nailers, and screw to the wall. So once we do that, the side panels are level, plumb. Now we find again the Start and then put the screw into the start. Now we are going to put the rods in place. These are the rod ends or rod supports. You can see it also on your on our uh, list of the hardware that we give you. And these are the rods, oval shaped rods. So we're going to put the first rod in place. The supports, they go inside the holes. As you can see, it's, they attach to the holes. You don't have to put any screws. And you just clip the rod on the top. Now we got all the rods in place. The unit is attached to the wall, all the rods in place. Now we are going to put the adjustable shelf. And of course, we are going to put the stickers on. These are the stickers we provide you with this. You put it where the screws are, so it makes it look nice. And wherever the screws are, we put the stickers on. And Now we are going to put the adjustable shelves. Again, remember, as I mentioned earlier, all the adjustable shelves are labeled. Like, as you can see, 22, 21. And the units also are labeled. So now the smaller shelves goes for the shelving, you know, the shelving unit in the middle. We're going to put that, put the adjustable shelves in. Uh, this is the shelf clips that we use, and these shelf clips, again, they go inside the holes. So now we have all the shelves in, we have the rods in, and this job is complete. Thank you. Bye-bye.